I'm so tired. But the show must go on. <laughs> guys it's your girl aries ashley here and today is day four of vlogmas i am so far behind i i apologize about my tardiness y'all got a lot going on this week is finals week for my papers and leon just got sick so consequently i too feel like i'm getting sick anyway let's jump into what this video is about which is wrapping up candle day so um Overall, I feel like I had a fairly decent candle day experience. I did enjoy waking up super early to get there super early. The cr even though the crowds were nothing like they're like they normally are, I still had a good time. I mean, I'm kind of sad that it wasn't so much of a hustle and bustle. It got that way later in the day or like later that morning, but early that morning it really would just wasn't a lot of people there when we did that live most people their excitement was at about a three and that definitely translated to my shopping experience where there weren't a lot of people in the store at day one during the opening time but it's okay i had fun uh, i got what i wanted for the most part the things that i did not get were the online exclusive items and it was something else I wanted in the store vanilla birch and I didn't get that either but no worries I'm happy overall uh, let's get into the money first how much I spent so tanger tanger outlets I spent $86 and 76 cents I left with I believe it was eight candles yeah so I left with eight candles from there uh, Northwoods Mall my first trip, I spent $208.23. My second trip, I spent $190.88. Then during that second trip, I forgot a candle. So I bought a one-off candle and that was $10.75 by itself. And then on day three of Candle Day, when I went back to Northwoods for my third trip, that was $130.15 that I spent for a grand total of... $626.77. I went over my $500 budget by $126.77. So yeah, I ended up with a grand total of, what was it? Um, like 66, 65, 66 candles or something like that. Um, a lot of them are not for me. I do feel like I did better last year, even though I spent more money last year. Maybe that's a little weird. I feel like I was maybe a little more satisfied with my haul overall. I definitely had a happier candle day last year than this year. But anyway, um, I'm not upset. I'm not complaining. I am grateful for everything that I was able to get. Uh, me going over my budget by $126.77, that is a big thumbs down for me because that means that I'm not going to be able to shop Body Care Day. I do have some rewards, but I I even hate to use rewards on Body Care Day, you know what I mean? We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, maybe a Christmas miracle will happen and I'll be able to grab a few things, but I am not looking to be able to get much for Body Care Day. Now, Let's go over the candles that I did get to burn that were candle day exclusives. First up, we have Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea has scent notes of Sweet Pea, Water Repair, Sheer Freesia, Luscious Raspberry with Natural Essential Oils. Smells really good, burn really well. Uh, I only burned it once, but I do like it. It threw pretty well. I burned this one in the bedroom and it had in here smelling really nice spoilers we're in my bedroom <laughs> but yes it had in here smelling super awesome I really did enjoy the scent the throw was about um, I'll give it a seven I'll give it an average throw it was nice it wasn't too strong not too 
uh, in your face or anything like that but it does smell really nice and I'm glad that I got three of them because I do plan on finishing that up maybe not right now I might save the rest of this for the spring but I did want to burn it to see how I like the candle and again I do like it I love it I'm glad that I have it and I may finish this one later on next year next winter can you tell I like it? Oh my gosh. The scent notes on winter are winter pine needles, frosted eucalyptus, icy peppermint with natural essential oils. Smells so, so good. Beautiful burn. Love the wax color on this one. The throw is definitely a 10. This is a strong candle. I really, really like it. Um, the first time I burned it, I burned it in here. I was like, oh no, baby, you're going, I'm not going to be able to sleep. You're going to kick me out of the house. So I had to move this one to the porch and it filled my entire patio. It smelled so wonderful. Yes, for winter. Glad I have another one of those. Next up, Dahlia. The scent notes on Dahlia are Dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline with natural essential oils. This one is good. Um, I really like the fragrance. I think it smells beautiful. I wouldn't mind finishing this one now. However, I didn't get much of a throw, but to be fair, I only burned it uh, like once or twice, I want to say, maybe two times. So, eh, I need to burn this one more to, to be fair about the throw. Um, on the first burn, it gave me about a six, but I feel like this one is going to strengthen up. I'm not trying to hype this candle up, y'all. I'm just saying I, I need to give it some grace because I, this was on the first burn. I love the fragrance, though. It's absolutely beautiful, and I do plan to try to finish that one up sooner rather than later speaking on finishing things up y'all i'm not going to do a november's empty i'm going to just combine the november afterburns with the december because i was serious it's barely a crate of candles so i might as well just go ahead and add my december empties in there and then we'll talk about november and december together later on in january as far as my afterburns are concerned because it would be embarrassing to make that half a crate video okay the next candle we have here is candy emporium the scent notes are fruity candy sweet confections pillowy mints with natural essential oils it was i like it i don't hate it right but it's just that i don't know how i feel about it like i don't i'm not in love with it i don't hate it either it's definitely like a one and done fragrance for me, but I'm glad I have another one because I'm going to keep that one unburned in the collection just in case we need to refer back to it later for reference. But other than that, like, no, I'm glad I didn't get like four of them or anything like that. Just two was the perfect amount, one for me to burn and one for the collection. Next up, we have this white chocolate macadamia. The scent notes are chewy cookie filled with crunchy macadamia nuts and white chocolate chips with natural essential oils. I love this scent. I love it on cold more than I love it burning, but it smells good burning too. So I'm not mad at it burning. It just smells super soft, right? And I wanted this to like that scent that I get out of the jar. I wanted that to come punch me in the face and it didn't. It wasn't that the throw was horrible. The throw was was great. You know, it filled the room. It's that the fragrance oils in the candle aren't high. They're like at a medium, medium low, in my opinion. And I wanted the fragrance oils in here to be higher. I am going to move this around and burn it in different spaces to see if it performs better. And again, that was on maybe one or two burns. So I want to be fair to these candles. I'm just giving you guys a brief overview of my thoughts uh for what for what I've burned would I get another one of those white chocolate macadamias yes I would and I do want to replace the one I have with the messed up wick I still haven't done that yet y'all now 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 this brioche french toast on the other hand with the scent notes of fluffy brioche toast rich maple syrup a dollop of butter sprinkled with cin cinnamon and natural essential oils Oh my goodness gracious. Y'all, let me tell you what I did. So I decided I should burn this in, on my candle bar. And then on the kitchen ki kitchen bar that I use for candles, I decided to burn Paris Cafe. And oh my gosh, it was so good. 
This paired with Paris Cafe is amazing. It's amazing. And this candle is strong. For me, the fragrance oils are high in here. The throw was excellent. I mean, it filled the room and it smelled like syrupy goodness in here. And then like in a certain part of the house smelled like, oh, smelled like breakfast. Okay. Like coffee and French toast just melding together. It was absolutely beautiful. Love that candle. Would buy it again. Yes, absolutely. Next. Y'all already know how I feel about hot pink cocoa. The scent notes are ru sweet ruby chocolate, whipped vanilla cream, raspberry sprinkles with natural essential oils. Yep. Mm, I love this. I absolutely love this. This is hoard worthy for me, just personally for me. I know a lot of people don't love it, but I do. I think that smells so good. And I've really, really been burning it. Uh, I would have to say that the oils in there are like a, at a medium high and then the throw, I'll give the throw about an eight. It was pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Now this one here. Oh my goodness, you guys. Caramel Frappuccino. I like this candle on cold more than I do burning, but I've been burning it anyway. It's so sweet. It's, uh, it's like that cloyingly sweet and I don't really care for how sweet it is, but it smells really good burning in the kitchen and that's where it's been that's why it looks like that because <laughs> i've been burning it in the kitchen uh good not my favorite but but good i should probably rank those we might come back and do a video for me ranking that collection since i'm not going to be doing an empties video maybe we'll replace the ranking of that collection with uh what would have been my afterburns next up top shelf elf y'all i don't care for this candle Billions of toys in just one year. Yes, yeah, sometimes even elves need a little boost of energy. Um, yeah, it smells really, really, really good on cold. But I don't know, something just didn't translate when it was burning. I didn't get much of a throw out of it. So maybe I should really move it around. I'm not going to give up on it just yet. I'll move it around and try it again. It's just that it wasn't really doing much for me. Now, Cosmopolitan, on the other hand... With scent notes that read up on the rooftop bar santa's taking a detour to meet mrs claus for drinks uh love this on cold my sister absolutely loves this on cold and burning it's good it's good but it just smells like another berry scent to me okay uh someone said that this is uh black cherry seltzer i didn't like black cherry seltzer i don't I don't remember. I don't remember if I did or not, but this actually smells really good on cold to me. It's just that burning, I was not wowed. There was no wow factor. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, for the candles that I have burned so far of these Candle Day exclusives, Candy Cane Colada. The scent notes read, Malikaliki Maka, Santa is out of office, taking a much needed vacation from the North Pole. And oh my gosh, yes, Santa, take that vacation because you create wonderful things when you're on vacation. I love this candle. I love this scent so much. Um, the only reason I haven't like been burning the heck out of it is because <laughs> I was trying to try everything. But yes to this scent. I absolutely love this. I don't want to say that it might. It might be. I'll say it might be. This could possibly be my favorite Candle Day exclusive fragrance that was released for candle day 2023 it's beautiful if you watch this video all the way to the end comment down below which candle day was better candle day 2023 or candle day 2022 mm, yeah for me it was candle day 2022 definitely smash crash candle day 2023 in my opinion nonetheless i'm still grateful and i'm certainly grateful for all of you thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Toodles!